What up, what up, what up, everybody? Welcome to our channel, T-Girl Magic Tarot. Yeah, yeah. Here to do a reading for my ch ch gemini My Geminis. What's going on, Gemini? What is happening? High Vibe Cross Watchers family, everybody here. How y'all doing? And welcome. Thank you guys for being here, joining me. Sending you an abundance of love, light, and healing vibes, Gemini. High vibe and cross watcher. Now, this is a general message for Gemini. Now, it can resonate with anybody or everybody or nobody. So, only take what resonates and leave the rest on for and to fit. <clears throat> Come on, choir. <clears throat> Come to the front. One, two, three. Oh, T girl, T girl, magic and collective. T girl, T girl, T girl, magic and collective. T girl, T girl, magic and collective. Check us out and see where we're about. Ooh, we are Gemini, 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 Gemini. We sing Gemini, 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 Gemini. Gemini, we are Gemini, 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 Gemini. Yay! Give the choir a round of applause. All right, we're going to see what's around in Gemini's energy. This is a channel where we do heal, learn, grow, and evolve to be better. Okay, Gemini, I don't know what's going on. We'll see what's going on. But you know what? I saw a post talking about some twin flames and soulmates and some bullshit or whatever the case may be. But I was always what I've always known twin flames and soulmates to be because twin flame is to help you heal, learn, grow, and evolve to be better than you were the day before. It's a lesson to be learned. And you need to heal through that and work through that before your soulmate comes. Because what? So I Googled a little bit of something. Y'all can Google it too. Soulmate, well, I put in soulmate versus twin flames, and I got four different paragraphs. Of, well, they're the same, actually, but just from four different sources. So it just pretty much validates what I said. Soulmates are two souls that are designed, no, sorry, are, that are destined to be together, while twin flames are thought to be same soul cut in two. Soulmates are naturally compatible and are often perfectly suited for one another. And then in another paragraph, I put in, which is better, soulmate or twin flame? It says, while soulmate relationships are often less intense, twin flame relationships can be extremely chaotic. Twin flame relationships can much deeper and more profound, I'm sorry, twin flame relationships can be much more deeper and profound than a soulmate partner because they have to lead to wholeness. But that's both. That's if both people have done their soul's work. And then the other paragraph says, well, do twin flames stay together forever? And then it says, twin flame relationships are thought to be the most intense relationships here in our lives, but they're not always meant to last. Sometimes twin flames can go through a separation period and whether that separation ends up being permanent, that just dep depends on the particular pair. And then the last thing is, well, what are the twin flames purpose? A twin flame encourages a person to deal with, grow from them, inspiration to grow and be better. The purpose of a twin flame relationship is to help a person reach personal transformation and soul growth. Meeting a twin flame may ignite untapped potential passion within a person. So it is to help you. It's, it's intense because the love is so deep. I've always said that the twin flame is the most powerful, you know, especially a karmic twin flame. Now, if you both have done your healing and done your work, that's amazing and congratulations. But, I mean, you know, this is why all this crap is here. Because you guys are dealing with your twin flame. <laughs> Trying to learn, grow, heal, and evolve. Because your soulmate's coming. You know what I mean? All that lusty, you guys are in control of your emotions, your thoughts, the way you feel. You, you, you know how to handle and have a grown folk relationship. With all that codependency and possessiveness and aggression in the current twin flame relationship. 
So angels, ancestors, we're going to see what Gemini has in their energy, okay? So yeah, this is why we get all this so-called karmic energy. Well, not so-called, it is karmic energy. You know what I mean? We're healing, learning, growing, and evolving, and elevating to be better. So I think we're kind of, you know, we're getting there. We're healing. But, you know, everybody comes on our channel. Yet, you know, they could be in, everybody's at different levels. That's all I want to say. So, um, and talking about things and, and repetition, that is a part of healing too. You know what I mean? To get it off and release and heal and to talk about it. So it's kind of like therapy too, in a sense, you know? Yeah, Gemini, you got a lot of love on you. Somebody want to manifest you back though. There they go. That's that part. You manifesting self-love and manifesting your best life right now. You're pouring all your time and attention into some new project that you're passionate about. Yeah. After being dormant for some while, some time, you're ready to get back into the game of things, the swing of things. You ready to go out and be seen. Yeah. So, okay. What else, Bear? What's going on in Gemini's energy? Okay. You walked away from somebody. Okay. You wanted a brand new, uh-oh, something. Yep. What's going on, Spirit? You walked away from somebody or somebody walked away from you. You walked away from a whole bunch of conflict and chaos and gave yourself justice. Yeah. And right now you're in your king of pentacles energy. Okay. You're in your money bag. You're doing the, yeah. And somebody in your energy though too. I can't even lie. There is a king of pentacles that does feel a little imbalanced and they're angry with you and they feel backstabbed and betrayed. And they drink it heavily. <laughs> That's not funny. I know. I laugh because ugh, the spirit shows me funny things, you guys. And it's funny to me. I'm sorry. Because they did all of this, though. They caused all this chaos. This person possibly walked away from you, this King of Pentacles. This is, yeah. They walked away from you, okay, at the end of the day. Because you're the high priestess. You know some bullshit was going on. Yeah, you know they were being guarded and defensive towards you. Possibly ghosted you. Left you stuck and hanging. You know what I mean? And now, all of a sudden, they're angry with you because you are in your King of Pentacles energy. And you're in your Nine of Cups energy. And you got your sword drawn towards your emperor. Your, your emperor. He's heavily burdened, baby. Okay? Because he had another lover. Mm -hmm. And possibly a baby. He's a father figure because the emperor is a father figure. Ooh, yeah. The family situation didn't work out, you guys. Okay? So now he want to come charging back to the other lover, which is you, Gemini. Your, your sign. Okay, Spirit, what is going on? Tell me a little bit of basic, and we're going to get back more into this. What's going on, Spirit? What's going on, Holy Spirit? Heart with the key. Mm, twin flames, honey. There we go. Yin and the yang. Balance. This is balance. Yeah, so this is your twin flame. This is a, You were supposed to learn a lesson from this person. Okay, you're healing, learning, growing, and evolving. Yes, this person has your heart. Okay, because it was an instant... Yeah, you guys are on a soul mix. Soul connection. You do have a soul connection. That's what a twin flame is. It is a soul contract. That's your half of your, your, your. But then there is a soul made up of a clean cups that I've been picking up too. That's coming in as well. Okay, nowhere to hide when love is calling your name from the dark, baby. And it's going to hit you like a ton of bricks. And it's going to be something brand new. Okay, it's going to make you feel like the rise of the phoenix. Yeah, because this King of Pentacles energy, because it was your twin flame, kind of broke you down and made you feel some kind of way. You know what I mean? You had to pick up yourself and because you showed this person nothing but love. You were honest and sincere and very authentic. This person was very materialistic, okay? And they were also afraid of you because you were a little psychic. Spirit says a lot of psychic. <laughs> Because the mistress is another woman, too, because you picked up and hinted out that this King of Pentacles had another woman. And he was like, uh, stuck, stuck, honey, and then it, it balanced the whole damn situation. So he didn't know what to do. So he, like he said, he ghosted you, became guarded and defensive and ghosted you and became cold and detached to you, Gemini. So, yeah, but now, so you got... Possibly two energies in your energy now, okay? Now, your King of Cups have to walk away from some type of conflict, too. So, they're both, I don't know. What's going on with this King of Cups, Spirit? Now, this person is your soulmate, and they are going to have the key to your heart. Yeah, they come, yeah, they're coming right after this twin flame. So, what's going on with this King of Cups energy, Holy Spirit? This new person that's coming in, that Gemini's going to start all over with, oh, it's going to be passionate, the King of... 
Okay, we got the Sagittarius energy up in here. Okay, I don't know if that's picking up this <laughs> warlock for y'all. And I'll explain. I mean, for some of y'all, it is. Because that's what the King of Wands is, you guys. Okay, I had picked up another um, energy story line that there was a, a warlock that had fell in love with you. Because they I picked that they did have a Scorpio cusp because of the death card that had came out. They were transformation. This You have this person's heart. Damn, Gina. Ooh, the spirit just showed me right now, honey, because this King of Pentacles energy, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, your King of Wands does know this King of Pentacles. They both know each other. They're fighting right now over you. <laughs> they fighting over you. One of them is your twin flame. You walked away from one of the twin flames because they had you as a mistress, and then here comes this King of Wands. Now, the energy is going to be different for everybody, okay? It's not going to be the same. It could be any damn sign because all the signs are up here. Okay, your twin flame could have also been, uh, you, you possibly have a couple of twin flames to learn on this healing journey. You're never just going to have one, but then it is half of your soul though. So you might just have one. Okay, your soulmate, you can have many soulmates. Okay, and you learn your, you learn, you, some of you have to cut off your soulmate. Okay, for some of you, it is an air sign. For some of you, it is a earth sign. And then now your soulmate, and your soulmate can be any dang sign. Okay, you guys. But that's just what I'm getting from this energy. It's like, yeah, they want to start all over again. Tell me who is it? Yeah, this king of wands is depressed. I told you this person. Go back and do that. Read that. Hear that. Look at that reading about the warlock and fell in love with you, Gemini. They want to come rushing in very quickly, okay, to you. Okay, I cannot. This is how it's coming out because you make them happy. Okay, they are a movement by themselves, but they are forced because they're feeling left out in the cold right now. They're feeling blocked from this love that you have. They feel like a complete family with you. They want to have a family. If you're in childbearing ages, this person wants to, and they never let you go. I told you it was, oh, they child, honey. Oh, Lord, have mercy. They are, a, they are not letting you go. This person has made up their mind. I'm hooked. I'm stuck. I'm obsessed. You're mine. What the heck? Spirit, what is, how does, they can't sleep they stress out they looking at you <laughs> spirit who is this energy why are they so what is going on i'm confused i mean i'm not confused but i am i'm like what is this all this aggression hmm lord have mercy they oh my god what about this lie spirit they want to put an end to the to the deceit they want to put it into uh, to the lies. They want to invest in you, and they want to come and have sex with you. Okay? They want to see if you're being with anybody else, and that's the truth, honey. They want to see, and they want to come speak some truth with. I cannot right now. But they want to come speak some truth to you, baby. They they like mm mm no uh uh what you doing? Who you with? You be with look, and they want to move to calmer waters with you. Okay? They are crazy about you. They're all in their head. They're still in their shadow side, though, low-key, high-key, low. I don't know. This King of Wands energy. What about this King of Cups energy? You might have a several suitors, Gemini. The energy is going to fit different for everybody because Gemini is known for having more than one lover. That's just the bottom line, okay? Just keep it 100. Didn't make you single so you can do whatever the hell you want to do, okay? Ain't no ring on it. Yeah, this person needs... You could be fucking with a Leo, though, too, a Leo could have backstabbed and betrayed you to get this Sagittarius king, somebody to get somebody to walk away. All this, I'm getting that this um, Earth sign has Leo placements in their chart and Earth. So they, this could be a Capricorn, Gemini, Leo. They can have that in their chart. They could be a mixture of those sign, those placements. And then this Fire sign could be a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, and Sagittarius, and uh, what else? Spirit. That's all I get right now. What else, Spirit? So, yeah, there's, there's, I don't know. What's going on, Spirit? What, what is, somebody want to give an equal give and take. Who wants to give an equal give and take, Spirit? This earth sign want to give an equal give and take, and this fire sign want to give an equal give and take. And this water sign want to give an equal give and take. Lord Jesus, and they waiting for the right moment to come in and travel towards you. You might have a battle on your hands, Gemini. Yeah, they all think you sexy, single, abundant. They want forward movement with you. They want to make this offer, this page of pentacles to this queen of pentacles energy child. And they want to lay to rest all the foolishness at the end of the day. What are all their intentions, spirit? What is these people's intentions? 
<laughs> right? Oh, damn. Oh, look, honey. This came in in reverse. I, they want control. Don't say you got a narcissist on your hands, honey. They, they child, what is going on? What the hell? They want to control you. Mm -mm, yes. They want to control you, number one, in this family situation. Okay, they want to lock it down because you, they, two of cups. I told you in the other reading, this Sagittarius, and all of them think that you, they, two of cups. And they're all waiting for you. Okay? They're waiting and they're coming to wait. They want to come travel to you. They want, I feel this is a Sagittarius energy. He, him waiting, him got his fist balled the fuck up and everything, honey. Because he know you his, look, you this motherfucker's counterpart. That's how he feels. Oh my God. Okay. Hmm. Is he a pin daddy with green alligator shoes and shit? Girl, what kind of shoes you got? <laughs> Girl, you wear sandals. Okay. Shit. Mm-hmm. Somebody got on from Elfkins and shit. Somebody dressed a little androgynous for... child. They dressed childish and immature, skinny pants and jeans and stuff. Not, I mean, I guess if you do it right, but this one looks crazy when they do it, honey. But anyway, it's okay. It's okay. They're very immature, extremely immature with their emotions and the way they communicate to you. They could play a lot of pranks and jokes and stuff. That's not... I don't know. The Scorpio, Sagittarius, but they see you as sexy, single, and abundant, and successful. They are getting tarot card readings on you. They're getting tarot card readings that you're the Queen of Pentacles, and you put you ain't taking back no motherfucking foolishness because you're gonna put everything to rest. And they know that, and they want forward movement. So they're coming. They're gonna try to come correct y'all. They're gonna come with marriage. They're gonna cut some shit out, heavy burdens, and they're gonna communicate to you that they want you to be the Empress, and they want to work on this. And they want a relationship and a marriage, okay? And they hope that you accept their offer because if you don't, baby, it's going to be a tower. They're going to offer this to you. Oh, Lord have mercy. They really want to heal, too. They've been drinking and everything, talking to all their friends and family, trying to figure out how they're going to come back. It's oh, a lot going on right now. Gemini, you driving this person. They are going crazy. Yeah. They are going out of, out of control. They're really trying to figure out. They're probably looking for a ring and everything for this marriage to propose to you. They're trying to work on They're looking for a place. Child, somebody already looking for the location. Yes, they calling around trying to, oh, child, I'm telling you, they, it's going to happen quick. They like, I don't even want you to say, you just coming. They might want to take you somewhere. I don't see the chariot nowhere. But if it comes out, because they might want to take you in the car and take you to this motherfucking whatever they got set up for, to marry you and everything they're going to be through, taking photos and love. Nigga, this is your mar your wedding right here. Oh, you were going to run. Look, you're going to run the fuck away. You're going to be like, oh, hell no, Jesus. This person might try to kidnap you. And <laughs> That's not funny. That's not funny. Oh, my God. You're going to have to call your homegirl. They're not going to let you call nobody because they're going to try to come rushing in, getting you to... Get married them immediately. Oh, my God, Gemini. What are you going to do? What is Gemini going to do, spirit? Lord have mercy. What is Gemini going to do? This person trying to rush in and Gemini. Mm -mm. Hopefully, you don't get in the quarrel with them, child. Because if you do, I don't know how you're going to get away, baby. Because, oh, spirit, what's going on? There's some seat. Ooh, ooh, don't get in the car with it. No, 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 don't, don't. This person's tricking you. They're lying. They want to entrap you. I don't know if they want to set you up to go to jail, whatever the case may be. This me, this mug got secrets. Okay. Oh my God. Wait, spirit, wait. Let me get another deck. Because I'm like, well, who got the secrets? Because I thought the um fire sign loved it. it. The well, they was trying to kill you off now. I don't know what the hell. Spirit, what card should, deck should I get? Okay, the light seer so we could shed some light on the diabolical situation. Lord. Spirit. Um, why why is this ten of swords here? Because it seems like they wanna I don't know what they trying to do. You running away from them, they're they're gonna I don't know what look. They trying to end you. That's all I can say. Backstab. That's a secret you don't even know. Maybe they just really angry. They've been contemplating and thinking about it. How are they gonna get away? You know what? I'm done. Spirit. Who? Why? Why is this to the swords here? Why is the moon and the four swords here? Why is it here? Why is it here? Why is this here, spirit? 
Because somebody is depressed, honey. They are going through a depression. Oh, Lord. They still in their shadow side, non-committal. They're not sure if they really want to commit with you. Oh, damn. They really... Oh, my God. Yeah, they don't, they're not sure if they really want to commit. This is a one-night stand trying to come in and cause a tower towards you. What's the tower, Holy Spirit? What's this tower? Okay? Because it's built on a faulty foundation. So they're trying to offer you a marriage on a faulty foundation. Who is this spirit? Judgment in the reverse. Heartbreak. Somebody that's who's heartbroken. They feel they feel they feel wronged. They feel wronged. And this is a petty bitch. They this is this is payback. The, the big payback. I don't know what the fuck from a Okay, this could be that raggedy air. So, uh, or, or they want to get paid back to an air sign. Okay, this fire sign. Okay, I'm telling you. Ooh, ooh, I dropped the whole damn fucking deck. Let me see what the fuck done fell on. Child, there's somebody being manipulative. They mad that they magic, they magic didn't work. Child, they sending magic towards you. You still blocking the shit regardless of the case. Maybe they confusing how it's not working. Okay, because the fucking page of wands is in reverse. That premature baby magic. Um, Yeah, the emperor's spells are going, making them crazy. Oh, they're crazy. This person is, they got satanic attachments, okay? They want to get you back. They mad, okay, because the favor didn't go in their side. The work didn't go in the way that they thought it was going to go. Who is Spirit, what in the hell? Hold on, let me pick this shit up, Gemini. I'm sorry, you guys. Oh, my God. Spirit say, to guard yourself and to run away, Forrest. Run the fuck away, honey. Don't be scared. It's okay. You protected, but I'm just saying, you know, you got to be smart. You got to be quick. You got to be wiser. Ooh, the devil, honey? Yes. I mean, not yes, but, like, that's... Ooh, he going to try to make an offer to you, the Ace of Pentacles, to give you some type of justice. Oh, Lord, but the Spirit said it's really a Ten of Cups in reverse because this motherfucker is imbalanced. Okay. Mm, and he is not happy with his life right now. Oh, Lord, have mercy, Spirit. Oh, my God. So, I guess, mm, I don't take nobody back from the past, okay? I guess that's what Spirit's really trying to say. Now, this King of Cups energy, who is that? They told me in my mind right now, part of the King of Wands energy there, Scorpio Cusper. Mmm. So spirit, ooh, what should, what is, what should Gemini be looking out for, Lord? What should Gemini be looking out for? Yeah, so just continue to do your shadow work and your healing. You know, you're going to be fine, ladies. You're going to be fine. Don't worry. Don't worry. You're going to be victorious and successful, and you will have a family, and you will have wish fulfillment. You, you really will. And it's going to catch you off guard. Tell me more. But you got to get rid of this toxic ass energy first. That's They're holding on to you. And it's not your fault. It's really not your fault. Just continue to do your grounding, your healing work, you know, your affirmations. You know, continue to remain, like, thoughtful of your thoughts right now. And, you know, we're hot. Because you're manifesting right now. You're in the process of manifesting your, work, your dreams. Actually, your two of cups energy. And somebody is sad and pissed off and they don't want you to manifest this two of cups energy. Ooh, Lord have mercy. Gemini, you got a lot of people that just don't want you to be happy. But in, even, even if it's with them because they're miserable with all these entity attachments and all these the shadow work that they're, they're refusing to do. What else, spirit? But it's okay, you guys. You guys are going to be fine. Like I said, that's after you get done with the hell and the chaos of dealing with these twin flames. And it's fine if they do the same. But you, that's the thing. It's only a handful of them out of the, all the millions. So it's, it's just many are called and few are chosen. Everybody can't be the so-called twin flame. Isn't there 144,000 of them? So how are the millions of people, you know, everybody want to say they this. But, I mean, it is what it is. We still all have a duty to learn, heal, grow, and evolve. You know, we do all have some, some, there's somebody for everybody. You know, the first, like I said, the first boyfriend or girlfriend you get with, you know, that's probably not the one. You got to go through some lessons with that person or people before you meet the one. You know, you, you notice that somebody that's gone through, I noticed like when I went to the last wedding I went to, there was an older wedding. The people were in their fifties and sixties, early sixties. But they've gone through all that bullshit. They've gone through all the toxicity. They've gone through all. They've been there and done that. And I feel that it doesn't matter how old you are. They did their shadow work. 
And that's why that twin flame, and that was such a beautiful wedding. It was on the ocean. It was so beautiful and peaceful. And you could see the love through them and the contentment. And they just wanted to live life. And they really extremely loved each other. Okay? You don't need somebody that's that, that you're always in their, your, head, their, your head about. What are they doing? Who are they with? You know, all toxic and obsessive and controlling. And, you know, all that manipulation and conditional love. You know, not unconditional. I said conditional love. You, I love you if you do this. Manipulate you to keep you trapped up and stuck and shit. Hoeing up. I mean, it's just all of that is some bullshit. Now, if the other twin don't want to work out and do the shit, that's fine. But that doesn't stop you from moving forward, okay? You don't have to be alone. There is someone out here for you because you want a peaceful, loving relationship. Now, if your twin flame does that as well and you grow, learn, and heal and evolve together and you come back and you know and you get the intuitive messages that this mug has done the work. Because they got to prove it. Don't just say you did the shit. And you acting all fucking toxic and devil-like and lying and shit. You put your money where your mouth is, okay? Don't jump on no wands either. You don't want to exchange no negative energies either. Until you figure out and you know for sure that that mug has done the healing, okay? No having sex with the devil. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So that's what it is. You guys know the difference. Know that just work through this energy. Divine is not going to sit because if you're, I want to be with somebody, I want to be with somebody, that's a codependency too. Where's my twin flame? Where's my soul? Calm down. You have to learn how to be in solitude at times too. Where was the, did the hermit come out somewhere? I know the hermit come out. That's why you be in hermit because you got to learn how to deal with yourself. If you can't be with yourself and deal with yourself and love on yourself, how can you going to deal in love and be with somebody else? And put up with anybody else. So God knows what he's doing. It's just we don't know what we're doing. So just trust in God. Trust in divine. You guys are wonderful, beautiful master manifestors. You're manifesting your two of cups literally as you speak. For those that are putting the work in. Okay. Because if you don't, you're going to keep repeating the same shit in a different body. And we don't want to do that shit. Okay. We don't want to do that shit. We want to hear good shit. Okay. And lovey doveys. So, all right then, you guys. I love you so much. I hope this has helped. Until next time, smooches. Bye.